Good morning, everybody. I hope that you're all doing really well. The last couple of weeks, we've been looking at some of Paul's letters to churches or individuals and reflecting on uh, on what we can learn from the first and last verses of those. As we continue our trip through the New Testament, we're going to be looking at a different letter writer. This time, we're going to look at Peter, Jesus' friend and disciple. And this is how he writes his, uh, his second letter. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have received a faith as precious as ours, through the righteousness of our God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And we talked a bit about uh, servanthood and authority last week, so we won't dwell on that again today. But what I do want to think about is that second half of the verse. To those who have received a faith as precious as ours through the righteousness of our God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. This is a wonderful little snippet because it reminds us that the faith that we have is the same as the faith that the first disciples had. That we are able to experience Jesus as fully, as really, as, as firmly as those people who were walking around with him actually hearing him speak to them, teaching them, challenging them, changing them. And we're told that our faith is just as precious as theirs. What a wonderful thing to, to be reminded of. We're told that we receive the faith. It's not something that we go and grasp, it's not something that we take but it's a gift. It's a gift that God, our loving Father, offers to us. That doesn't absolve people of not accepting the gift before anyone thinks, oh well, I obviously haven't been given the gift of faith and so it's not my fault if I don't believe God. Because it's a gift that is on offer to each and every person. And all we need to do is accept it. We're told that this faith is, is precious. Why is it precious? Well, we're told that it was given through the righteousness of Jesus, our God and Saviour. The gift is given to us by God, and that in itself should make it a precious thing for us and something that we want to hold on to, we want to explore and develop and, in, and get deeper with. But as with so much, it's all about Jesus. Jesus is the one who offers the faith to us. Jesus is the object of our faith. We're told that he is our God, the one in whom we place our trust and have faith. And he's also the facilitator of that faith. It's Jesus who is the saviour, the one who makes the way possible through his righteousness, not through our own, not through our own good deeds, our own merit, our, our own trying to make the scales tip in our favour, but because Jesus has made the way and we trust in his righteousness, his his right living, his, his right actions and thoughts and behaviours, his right relationship with the trinity of love. It's on offer to anyone. The gift is extended to everyone. So share that gift with other people and take hold of it yourselves. Recognise that we don't have to do anything at all to earn salvation. It is offered freely to every single person. All we need to do is trust in the righteousness of Jesus our God and Saviour. I'll see you again on Sunday when we'll look at how Peter finishes this beautiful letter. Take care and God bless.